Welcome to Maggie's Places Cooking. Today we're going to be making a not so traditional beef burrito. It is just a hamburger burrito, no beans included, but there are going to be some other ingredients that I think you'll find quite surprising. We're going to start out with our olives, green olives with pimentos, about three or four of them. These are just salad olives. And we have some onion diced up, some celery diced up, and the leaves from the celery. Don't discount those leaves. They give great flavor. We're going to go ahead and soften these up and then I'll be removing them to another plate and adding our hamburger meat. I've set aside the celery, the onions, and the olives and the little celery stems and in the same skillet where we had the nice flavored oil from them cooking in it, I've added our hamburger meat. Uh, this is about a pound of hamburger meat maybe a little bit over and to this I'm just going to add some freshly ground black pepper. We're going to let this go ahead and brown up and then we'll be adding our other ingredients. Our ground beef is all nice and brown now and we're going to go ahead and add back in our celery and our olives and onions. And we're also going to add our parsley. We have onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, cumin, some dried cilantro, some oregano, and paprika. And you can get all of the uh, ingredients, measurements, on the recipe website, maggiesplacecookbook.info. And go ahead and stir this up. Make sure it's all very well blended. And I'm also going to add about a quarter cup of water just to kind of help that along. There we go. Kind of distribute it. Now the next two items I'm going to add to this are unusual, uh, but they are something that you do have in your home. This is to help make this meal a meal stretcher. And what I have here is some sliced up potatoes and raisins. I know what you're thinking, but believe me, you are going to love this. The raisins add such an extra flavor. It's like that uh, sweet and salt. It's just really delicious. So I'm going to mix this up. And if you wanted to make this a little bit spicier, you could add cayenne pepper at this point. Uh, when you were cutting up your celery and your onions and your olives, you can also cut up like a jalapeno pepper and cook it at that stage. Let's just go ahead and cover this and we're going to turn it down to about low, a little bit higher than low. And we're going to let this simmer until the raisins start to plump up. I check it in about three or four minutes, give it a stir. And once you see the raisins start to plump, you're ready to go. Our spices have incorporated really nicely and I've also added a packet of taco seasoning and about another half a cup of water. I've let it simmer for about five minutes and our raisins, probably can't see it, but they are plumping up very nicely. And we are almost ready to assemble a burrito. We'll let this simmer about another five minutes. When it comes to heating up the tortillas, everybody has their own preference. Uh, you can put them in the microwave, uh, that's what I do, and I put a paper towel underneath them because sometimes when you put them in the microwave, you get moisture underneath your burrito and nobody wants a soggy burrito. So I heat it, I remove the paper towel, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some of our meat, just a nice line right down the middle. You don't want to fill it too much because then it will be hard to eat and they are quite messy. And whatever you like on your tacos will go on this too. I like to put some uh, shredded cheddar cheese and I like black olives. There. And also I like a little bit of sour cream just pouring on the flavor. And you can do what you want. Uh, you could build a little bar. You could uh, 
add some like diced tomatoes, some celery, onions, more olives, black olives, green olives, whatever your family prefers. And then you close it up, it makes a nice little knapsack, sort of. This is a delicious meal. And it's, it goes far too, because we've added the potatoes in there. <clears throat> we've added the raisins, which give it a very unique flavor. It is one of the easiest skillet dishes I've ever made. And not only that, it doesn't cost a fortune. I hope you like this recipe, and I hope you enjoy this in your home.